Good morning, my family. So, yes, I trust all is well, right? So, this morning I'm driving and I just always, I'm always thinking about something, huh? <laughs> but uh, yesterday I found myself, you know, triggered about some stuff. And when I found myself triggered, I labeled it as, you know, something that I did not want in myself. And I had to sit and think. I was like, but it's you. I realized that over time, sometimes, you know, there are times where we have had these societal norms on us for so long that certain things and certain aspects of ourselves, we tend to want to suppress, right? Don't do that. You know, because it's you and it's embedded in you for a reason. It's like nine days. We always want to give a definition for, you know, the way we are and the way some of our actions are. But no, sometimes our actions are our actions because it's who we are, especially when it's pattern, pattern, patterns. And you found yourself doing some of the same things prior to, you know, unconsciously, subconsciously, or, or should I say subconsciously. And so it's like, okay, do I continue to try to suppress this part of me or do I embrace it? You know, growing up, we were always told there's a time and a place for everything. Well, maybe that action that, that keeps occurring, you know, would be useful in certain situations. You understand what I'm saying? We're quick to label things as being bad and um, evil and good and, you know, all this and that. But under what circumstances? What circumstances are these things... Um good bad whatever <laughs> so say sometimes that you may have an attitude or whatever there are times you have an attitude now this isn't what i was talking about pertaining to me but you feel like you just don't want that attitude but if you look at it from somebody else who is always getting ran over they wish that they had a little bit of that inside of them you see where i'm going with that so it's not so much a necessary of not wanting this certain piece of you or this certain trait, you know, this certain characteristic of you to go away. We have to be careful with our words, but it's about embracing it. How can I apply this to myself? When do I need to use that? When do I need to control that? It's all a part of self-mastery. See, one of the hardest things in my life has not been obstacles even though some of them have been tough, but it's been, you know, mastering self. Learning some things about me that um, I ignored or unleashing some things about me that were hidden, you know, to my own eye or, you know, that I just wasn't paying attention. You are you. And no matter how you try to run from it, from it, at the same time, this is who you are, you know? So I was doing that thinking and it was like, yeah, like I can use this and this. I pulled over because it came, you know, to my mind or whatever. But yeah, I can use this or I can use that. So, you know, don't have in your mind what you need to let go. Yeah. Yeah, my ways come in. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I spotted it. But anyways, don't focus on what you need to let go because that's so much of self-sabotage. You know, as much as you down yourself, give yourself credit for some things as well. Don't forget that. Don't forget it. There is a way that it can be applied to your life because we're here for balance. Everything is about balance for the most part. Whether it's physically, you know, whether it's spiritually, you know, just period. It's all about balancing. And that's all you have to do. Get it out a little bit. It's going to make you feel good. But know when to tame it. Understand you. Take the time out to get to know you. Because if you don't get to know you, how do you expect someone else to understand you? All right, y'all. I'm out because I am on a time schedule. And I'm about to get to going. All is well. <laughs> My family. All is well as it will be. I am the leading boss lady. I love y'all family. Continue to grow and heal and understand who you are and who you are called to be. All right. Have a great, amazing, prosperous, 